So we are looking at the Rodian Schwartz RTE 1104 oscilloscope that was released just a few weeks ago and we're looking at an EMI application and here's our board we've got a probe right there and uh, Dave's going to show us what we're looking at we've got a number you see you've got a number of, of uh, images we've got what looks like something in the frequency domain it also looks like the frequency domain and then we've got a time domain and let's see how they all correlate so go ahead yeah so uh, what we've got here is a fully configurable touch screen that we've uh, set up to have a incoming EMI um, uh, signal that's we're picking up with a near field probe and the near field probe is uh, as you see when I move it away and from the board we can see the signal strength is relative to, uh, to Why don't you do that again? Just, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, we can see that now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we've got uh, this uh, signal is, is being um, evaluated with an FFT at the very bottom here and this is a, an FFT of the entire signal trace such that we can see uh, again, when I move the probe, we can see the responsiveness of the FFT mm -hmm. such that we were actually getting a live kind of preview of the EMI yeah. that's on the board. Now you've got you've got two boxes here, mm -hmm. one here and one here. What are we looking at? So those are a time gate of a small portion of the FF, the FFT, mm -hmm. such that we're only in this particular window here looking at that small window of time. Okay. In this window here, we're looking at this small window of time, and what that allows me to do is correlate the t frequency domain events into the time domain to understand the cause of something in the frequency domain. So if I had this view here, I can't really tell what's causing this noise. But when I am able to gate time, I can see, look, I don't have a lot of noise in this signal, but I do have a lot of noise here. So that means that this moment in time is not very noisy, whereas this moment in time is what's creating my broadband noise that I'm seeing from my signal. Then I correlate this to the frequency domain by looking at another signal in the system. This happens to be the switch node of this power supply. And I can see at that particular moment, the switch node is kicking off a, quite a large EMI uh, field by the fact that it's switching and, and producing such a fast edge um, there. And it turns out in this particular case, the load that is, is being uh, driven or, or sourced out of the switch mode power supply is too large. Um, such that it's pulling too much current out of the inductor and causing the transistor to go into saturation and we're seeing the actual um, EMI that that produces and that's a way to cross-correlate between the frequency and time domains such that we can debug EMI problems.